Do you think that President Tinubu started on a good footing, bearing in mind what you just said, that um, he promised Nigerians that he will govern and not rule, that fuel subsidy is gone, that the funds should be channeled into uh, health, education, public infrastructure, and also creating uh, of jobs? Do you think that that is a good footing on which he started? And do you think that Nigerians are also understanding that path, that for him to govern and not rule, for him to be able to do some of those things that had decisions need to be taken and we need to cooperate with him. So do you think that Nigerians understand that? That's two questions in one. Yes, I think that um, Nigerians, uh, many Nigerians, especially from the background that, you know, the campaigns and the elections, you know, there were a lot of fragmentations. Many Nigerians may not understand him. Uh, at this point. So there's a need to, for a lot of education and enlightenment. He needs to tell us why he needs to do this at this time, especially where the money will be channeled to. What is the plan for the money? 400 billion naira will be saved every month from uh, the first subsidy removal. Where will he plot the money? That is very critical because we don't want to move away. I mean, you remember that the first subsidy regime was bedeviled with all kinds of accusations of corruption. So we, we don't want to leave frying pan to fire. It is important for the president to articulate what he wants to do with the first subsidy savings. I mean, savings from the first of the 400 billion is a lot of money. Another thing that is important is that the president and his team would have preempted that such removal will, you know, lead to, of course, the regulation, which means that the market will dictate the price. Although there are people who think that, how can NMPC be fixing the price when we are talking about the regulation? Complete the regulation means let the market fix the price. So NMPC Limited has no business fixing the price. But that is another discussion. Now that we are seeing 530, what it means is that there will be hyperinflation and there will be implications on the poorest of the poor. And whenever ev anything affects prices, affects food, People who are already agitated, people who are already frustrated, get very frustrated and even become violent. So I think it's important that the president and his team to have preempted such uh, scenarios and would have at least prepared for it. Everybody you go to now that are complaining, and regardless of the good intentions, you know, on the savings and the promises of quantum infrastructure, education and everything, people need to know that there needs to be food on their table and the hyperinflation, there must be remedial action, um, you know, for this implication because ordinary people are going to be impacted negatively, at least in the short term.